Hey, good morning my YouTube family. This is your host Aaron here. This is Times with the Narcissist Explained. Today we have a hot topic. We're going to talk about narcissistic siblings. And uh, I know a lot of us that are subscribed to my channel, you all you all have dealt with this throughout the years. That's another sign you're more likely a chosen one. When you grew up in a narcissistic family unit and you was the one that was isolated or you was the one that was singled out because you was the different one. You... You have a calm demeanor about yourself. You're not chaotic. You try to keep things organized, peaceful, structured. Yes. But when you deal with narcissistic siblings, let's let's put this on the forefront. They are not your family. These siblings right here, they will copy everything you do. They will steal from you. They'll smear your name behind your back to other people in your neighborhood and, and other people that both of you all know. But then be in your face like, hey, bro, hey, sis, oh, I love you so much. I think we should be close. They want to be close so they can drain you, so they can slow you down, so they can be in the way. Narcissistic siblings are ultimately distractions. They're trying to stop you from achieving great things. But let me tell you one thing. They ain't stopping a damn thing. They ain't stopping shit. They cannot stop the calling that's over you. They may try to delay it. They may try to... Uh, uh, jumping away and, and, and throw a little monkey wrench in your plans but they can't stop whatever it is that you want to do you know but what I'm here to tell you today is that this has been going on for a long time if you look at the story of Cain and Abel Cain killed Abel because the Most High accepted Abel's offer instead of Cain's and that infuriated uh, Cain to want to kill Abel you know so the enemy was in Cain's ear like hey uh pick up a rock and hit Abel in the head that's the same it's the same thing it's it, just like it was back then it's just like how it is now your narcissistic family especially your siblings they are under satanic influence and they don't even realize it their jealousy towards you their envy their hate towards you is ultimately their ultimately their demise you know but throughout the years, you've had to get into fights with your sibling. Because sometimes, let me tell you something, man. A narcissistic sibling will wear your clothes in front of your face. And you be like, is that my gym shorts? Is that my tank top? Take that shit off, man. What the fuck is you doing? You know what I'm saying? A narcissistic sibling, if you got leftover food in the fridge, they'll eat it without even asking you. And then when you confront them about it, man, damn, man, I'm so sorry, man. I was just hungry. They think about themselves when it comes down to you because they 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 want to do their best to be you. I mean, they'll steal your stuff. They'll copy whatever you 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 go and and get a career path that you want to do. They'll try to beat you to it to make it seem like it was their idea when it wasn't. You know what I'm saying? So what I'm here to tell you today, narcissistic siblings are not your family narcissistic family members are not your family the reason why they want to be attached to you is because you are their life force you are you are something that they try to emulate they don't know how to be themselves they don't know how to embrace themselves they feel like if they be like you they'll be better off in life you know but ultimately they can never replicate who you are chosen one they can never be you they will never be to your level you have an anointing on your life and a calling on your life that they can't comprehend and a lot of times they don't want to go the route that you want to go because when you anointed and you have a calling over your life and you a chosen one you have to live your life a certain way see let me tell you something the universe does not care about everybody like that only specific chosen ones okay that's why uh a lot of times other people ain't trying to uh, do good by humanity. They're not trying to live righteous. Your narcissistic siblings is more than likely a thief. Your narcissistic sibling is more than likely a backstabber. Behind your back, they're going to talk all this, but in front of your face, hey, bro, hey, sis. But then you notice certain things are missing. A narcissi Narcissistic siblings, if you live in a narcissistic family household, you can have your own room, right? But for some reason, your siblings want to be in your room because understand one thing, your energy is with you everywhere you go. That's why whenever you bring people into your space, it's peace, it's tranquility. You know, how many times, and some of y'all can relate to this, how many times you had some people riding with you 
in your car and they just fall asleep. It's because of your energy that you have within that, when you're driving that car, any space that you're in, there's tranquility and peace. Any space that they're in is chaos and misery. That's why a lot of times they try to come in your room. Sometimes narcissistic siblings will try to sleep in your bed. You know what I'm saying? They don't want to sleep in their bed. They want to sleep in your bed. And a lot of times when you're an empath and a chosen one growing up, you don't realize how toxic that is. Because they be trying to be so attached to you at such an early age. Like any move you make, they want to be right there. So what I'm here to tell you today is those siblings that you, you've known all your life, you have to reevaluate them, especially in today's time. Because the love of many is wax cold and jealousy is at an all time high. And these siblings will turn their back on you. They will set you up. They will use your narcissistic parents. They will use other family members to come against you. They try to make you feel guilty when you protect yourself from them and you distance yourself. Man, they, man, they're like they don't want to deal with us no more, man. I thought we was family. No, we're not family. You're trying to destroy me. You're trying to... A narcissistic sibling will kill you just to be in your shoes so they can get all the spotlight. You know, there's people out there that feel like if they kill you, they could take your position and they can be you. How psychologically mind-fucking is that? You know what I'm saying? That's the stuff that comes with dealing with a narcissistic family unit. They want to steal from you. They want to emulate you. They want to copy you. They'll even want to kill you. They hate you because they're not you. Okay? Look at how you carry yourself. You know, your calm, mature demeanor. Respectful, loving, nurturing, caring. And you, and you carry the spirit of the Most High. Them narcissistic siblings, they can't match you. But they'll damn sure try, though. They'll damn sure try. They'll try to copy everything you do. They'll try to steal your ideas. Sometimes, if you're in your room talking to yourself, you have to be careful with that because sometimes they'll be standing outside of your door trying to listen in on, what, on the stuff you be saying. You know what I'm saying? That's what narcissistic siblings do. They're toxic as hell. They don't like you. They're not your family. They're not your brother. They're not your sis. Huh? Narcissistic siblings are not your family. They are low-key undercover enemies pretending to die. Oh, yeah, hey, bro. Hey, sis. They are fake as hell. But if you read between the lines and you see how they move, you'll move differently around them. My best advice when you're dealing with narcissistic siblings, stay away from them as much as possible. Protect yourself. Don't let, Even if they try to make you look like the bad guy or the bad girl, you're doing the right thing. Because the universe is watching everything. So they sit here and smear your name behind your back, trying to set you up with, you know, they trying to get other people in the neighborhood to set you up and, and sabotage. Sometimes your narcissistic sibling be the main ones putting holes in your tire, we'll put nails in your tire, put scratches on your car. Because they jealous. This is what jealousy do. You know what I'm saying? They will betray you to be you. You understand? So listen, y'all. Reevaluate your family, man. These siblings of yours, especially nine days, siblings ain't real. If you if you're a chosen one, you don't really have family, bro. They just pretenders. But they hate your gut because they can't understand you. They can't emulate you. You know? And they hate the fact that you're their life force. Without you, they'll die. You leave their house, you move on and live your life without them, they'll die. They can't live. For real, for real. Alright? So this is Hans with the Narcissist Explain. Those of you who are new, welcome to the channel. I hope you enjoyed the content. And listen, y'all, reevaluate your family members. Some of y'all are in situations where you gotta really get out of really get out of there. You know? Everything work out, just you know, divine knows our intentions. Just stick to your plan. You know, safeguard your plan. Don't be you know, don't be too talkative because some people, these people try to listen in on you, man, just so they can dial in on you, find ways to hit you at different angles. They fake as hell. They don't love you. They just want somebody to copy or emulate, but they want to destroy the original. All right. So I love y'all. Y'all be safe and y'all tune in for more. All right. Bye bye now.